This is the video series of the Wi-Fi Pineapple modules. In this session, we're going to do an overview of the module TCP dump. So logging into our Wi-Fi Pineapple, the first thing we want to do is verify that we have internet connection. So at the dashboard, go ahead and click this load bulletins. Make sure that you get something back. The next thing that we want to do is we want to have a client that's connected to us so that we can sniff their traffic. You can go to clients and verify that you have a hooked client. Now in this case, I'm pineappling my own uh, iPad. So from here, you want to go under modules and go ahead and select TCP dump. Now you need to already have all of the dependencies installed. And what you can do is click this options and you can see that there are various options that can be set. Now, the first thing you need to verify is what interface that your client is actually listening on. You can find that out by using another module called connected clients. So what I can determine here is this Mac address, which I know is my iPad is actually listening on WLAN zero. So what I can do then is go back down to TCP dump and under my options, I want to change the interface to match. I can also change the verbosity. So if I want the log file to be very verbose, I can do that. I can also set some timestamps. And there's some other options here. You can see that anything that you click just appends more tax to the TCP dump script. You don't have to use this interface. If you wanted to, you could do everything at command line as well. If you wanted to do everything at command line, you would use something like putty to SSH into your pineapple. And then you would go to this directory, pineapple modules, TCP dump. And then the scripts folder is going to have the TCP dump.sh. So you could actually run it from here and change the options to whatever you might like. TCP dump is quite sophisticated. So I'm only showing the tip of the iceberg here in this video just to get you going. So one thing that I've noticed when you're using this interface is whenever you want to change these options, you need to go ahead and stop listening and go ahead and restart TCP dump. So what I ended up doing to get this start button to come back is I actually ended up kicking my client off. And so I'll have to reestablish that client connection with the iPad and then start up the log again. Okay. I've got my client hooked again. So I'm going to go back to TCP dump. And before I start it up, I want to go ahead and select my options. I've got my interface selected. I'm going to make it very verbose. I could even print packet contents to be displayed in both hex and ASCII, as well as some other options here. And then go ahead and start TCP dump. And then what I start doing is just browsing on my iPad just to see if I can get some traffic captured. We've got a new log that's been created. What's really nice is you can download this, view it in another program. I'm going to go ahead and view this first. Looks like it's got some content. What I'm going to do is go ahead and download that. So what you'll notice is that it downloads as a PCAP, which means if you didn't want to look at it raw, you could pull it into Wireshark or you could pull it into a really cool program called Network Miner. If you drop that PCAP into Network Miner, you can see all of the traffic that flowed through the iPad. Now what's really cool about this product is it divides up all of the artifacts that it finds in a PCAP. So it'll actually identify files. It'll identify images, which I don't have any right now as well as messages, maybe credentials, uh, and things like that. So I think this is a really cool tool. 
uh, to, especially if you need to parse out this kind of information quickly. So hopefully this was a helpful demo to get you up and running quickly with TCP dump.